What I eat in a day at the hospital. <laughs> Breastfeeding hunger is already kicking in. It's like honey. I feel better than when I did with Sage. Any words of wisdom for moms to be out there? Say no to visitors and don't feel like you need to like call everyone right away. I feel like last night we were kind of like running, I was running off adrenaline a little bit. It was really like calming last night just to have like no phone call. I don't know. It was just like protecting our peace. I'm glad we did that. And then now I'm excited. Now we have something to do today. Call everyone and FaceTime. Mm -hmm. Going to skin to skin with mommy. You slept like a baby. Oakley's having his breakfast. He's got hiccups again. We had so many hiccups in mommy's tummy. He's, he's awake. But I figured he had a good long, good sleep. I'm gonna make sure I get under his chin. I know, and his rolls. I'm going to just wring out my towel on his head. You don't love it, do you? You'll learn to love it. Hi, baby. Oh, look at Khan. Yeah, he's you so know. quiet he's been with all the stuff going on. Um, yeah, he's super All right, guys, we are just about ready to go home. We're just waiting for a nurse to come in and give like final uh, blood test results for Oakley and then also I think we have to check my stomach and stuff. Matt already packed up the car with like all of our bags. We have like a couple of things. We are going to get Oakley dressed. Apparently it's like 17 degrees Celsius outside, so not too cold. This is my going home outfit. His belly. Ooh. So crazy that there's not a baby in there anymore. I could probably still pretend I'm pregnant for a little bit. Also, I didn't give you like a room tour. <laughs> Looks really cute in here. It's been like the best day. Like honestly, I love this hospital. I delivered at South Lake in Newmarket, Ontario. And the nurses here are so amazing. And we've just had such a good experience both times. This is where Matt slept, his little chair, my bed, Oakley's bed. This was usually like right here, but they've been doing like tests and stuff. This is like the dining table. We're gonna pack him up in there. Little kitchenette, bathroom, got a microwave, mini fridge. Art. Yeah, look at the art, it's so cute. This was a upgraded room we got because it had the bed and it was available. It's got a little bit of a popped blood vessel in this eye, but they said it should go away in like a week. Both mommy mm -hmm. and Oakley have some trauma from birth. <laughs> what? Well, I cannot see. Oh! All cozy. Now that you took a big poop. Did not see that coming. Oh, that was huge. Oh my god. So it's I don't even know change how, like... one just a couple hours ago, right? Yeah. I think he's just so mesmerized by the world, eh? Oh, I know, right? He's like, where am I? Put your hand. I gotta get your hand. Oakley's all bundled up for his ride home. He's hungry, let's give him some milk and start the day. We've started the day since like 3 a.m., but you know, for this for you guys. Okay, let's go give you some milky. Hello. Track it on my app. I reach through mysterious ceilings. My home. I look for the things I don't know.
How's this one? All laundry, it's all soaked with pee. Let's see if he likes these. Whoa. Whoa, that's a good one. Okay, I'm gonna get dressed while he stares at this, and then I'll bring him down to Daddy and Seiji. <laughs> my postpartum belly so crazy how there was a baby in there just a few days ago like poof, mind blown also my milk has come in and let me tell you so much more uncomfortable this time than with sage my midwife said it's normal for it to be more uncomfortable like more engorgement for like second babies and third babies and so on so i'm dealing with that i'm just doing like cold cabbage leaves icing hot showers, massaging, and then obviously breastfeeding Oakley, and then also I'm doing a little bit of pumping. Hey. Hey, my baby. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Hey, say good morning, yeah. Oakley. Yeah. You wanna hold him? Yeah. Okay. Okay, let's go wash your hands. Aww, he's so cute. He's so cute. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now hold his head. Daddy. You funny? Look at daddy's baby. I see it. A... Is that your baby oh. brother? Yeah, say hi, Oakley. Hi, Oakley. I love how she says his name. Oh, he's so cute. Mm, okay, mommy's gonna go get some food. You gonna babysit? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna make a smoothie. Oh, I'm glad he let me sleep in this morning. Okay, Siri, set a timer for five minutes. Oh no, I'm already leaking. Five minutes starting now. Why am I leaking? So I've actually only been doing like five minute pump sessions because my breasts are just so engorged with milk as it just came in like a couple days ago. So my midwife is like, don't do full pumping sessions. Otherwise my body will think I have twins and make more milk. And there's, it's too much. It's too much. It's so uncomfortable. Don't get me wrong. I'm grateful my milk has come in, but this transition period is just a little bit rough right now, but we'll get through it. On the plus side, I've been able to start already storing uh, breast milk in the freezer. So I'm just gonna put this in the fridge in case I have a little bit more to add to it since I'm only doing like the five minute pump sessions. Also, I've been trying out this portable pump. I have a couple from Sage as well, but so far so good. I've been really liking this one. Okay, let's have some smoothies. I'm gonna put these in the fridge. Sage, do you want smoothie? No? Are you sure? It's a strawberry one. No. Okay. Oh, perfect. That measurement. Time for daddy to carry the baby. I did it for nine months. Now, actually, we'll usually have him in the carrier like every morning. Oh, I like your outfit. So he peed through his outfit again. I'm convinced that he's in newborn diapers. I feel like they're too small. The uh, level one say from eight. eight to 12 pounds so so he can yeah let's try the bigger diapers because like the small ones i feel like he's just soaking through his clothes uh -huh. yeah you got little vegetables okay little dude all right mm. that good. And yummy. Right? Mm -hmm. i'm also making my herbal coffee in the thermos so it stays hot okay. and if i don't put my herbal coffee in a thermos cup it's gonna go cold I got my drinks. Okay, so daddy has Oakley 
Sage is at daycare and I want to talk to you guys about something that has helped us so much since having Oakley at home and having to entertain a three-year-old. Life is already crazy. I want to thank KiwiCo for sponsoring this video and helping us as now parents of two navigate this stage of life. One of the things that we used for Sage when she was little and I'm really excited to be using them again are the KiwiCo crates. They have different ones depending on what age your little ones are at. They have the Panda crate which is for ages 0 to 36 six months and then this is the one that Sage just upgraded to so she hasn't even tried this one yet it's the koala crates which is for ages three and four I love all of the different crates that KiwiCo offers and that it's not just your traditional toy it really helps spark their imagination and creativity it also helps teach you as a parent on how to actually play with your kids depending on their age and where they are development wise so I actually stocked up and got two for Sage this is the rainbows Quala kit and then I also have the farm one. I have the zero to two months panda crate for Oakley. This focuses on items for tummy time and also targeted towards things that they can actually see at this point. Newborns can only see about eight to 12 inches away from them and they really love large shapes and bold patterns in black and white or high contrast colors. These black and white cards are great. I use them a lot in the mornings while I'm getting myself ready or if I have something quick to do for work. Oakley is fascinated by them. He loves the contrast of the black and white and I'll just like flip to a new card every couple of minutes and he's just like ooh, this is so cool and you can really see how it does grab their attention this koala crate is the farm one and it comes with different crafts to make little finger puppets of animals which she loves animals she loves naming them and ironically enough she's really into puppets right now so she's gonna love this and I'm actually gonna have this ready for her when she comes home from daycare that time in between coming home from daycare and before dinner I find it sometimes hard to fill and do things especially if I'm tending to Oakley or you know Matt or myself is starting to bake dinner this is a great activity to help keep her focused and entertained this is the time of day that I really like to just have some one-on-one -on -one with Sage Sage is getting really into arts and crafts and hands-on activities so things like this are really gonna help spark her imagination and just challenge her a little bit more December is here and if you're starting your holiday shopping this is such a unique gift to give to someone especially over the holiday break parents are going to need stuff like this to help entertain their kids and get through those last couple of weeks of the year. Use my code Nicole for 50% off your first month of KiwiCo. Are you doing tummy time on daddy? Okay, so this is our station at night. It's a little messy right now, but I have eye masks. This is like a weighted one. Diapers, wipes, butt cream, snacks. Matt usually makes them, but I made it today. Slapping. <laughs> no, I had the baby. You know. Yeah, he had the baby. <laughs> Um, peanut butter and jelly sandwich, apples, stuff is in here, got a changing pad, a tablet, stuff for baby, stuff for me. And then in this cart, it's all my postpartum stuff, which I will show you tomorrow. Um, but I also have my tea, my water, and anything else that I need. And then the bathroom is right there, which I use probably more than when I was very pregnant. <laughs> this is where Oakley sleeps. Um, this is the Snoo bassinet. Underneath, I have some extra clothes mattress cover and swaddles just in case he has like a blowout or something but yeah so i usually swaddle him in this it's like a double swaddle so it's like he has his blanket because this is actually quite thin the one that it comes with this just straps right in and then it has like a built-in white noise as well as it rocks if you want it to rock this is a new breastfeeding pillow that I've been trying, love it. It's called, I think the breast friend or something. I'll link it below, but it is so supportive. It's the best. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little worried about tonight because Oakley slept like all day. He would get up for a feed and then just pass out right away. So, I mean, he's only a few days old, but I feel like he's already going through a growth spurt because uh, you're just so sleepy. Okay, he's hungry. I'm gonna give him some milk and then I try to time going to bed when he does um, later in the evening so that I can get a little bit of a stretch of sleep because I do the night shifts and then Matt does the sagey shifts in the morning. I need Matt to be well rested and like honestly there's not much he can do because Oakley is breastfed. We're not like introducing bottles yet and like honestly Sage wouldn't even take a bottle so. All right milky time and I'm probably gonna dig into one of my snacks now. I'm kind of hungry. I always eat them before the night starts. But yeah I'll probably try to document like some of the night um, but we are probably up every two to three hours which it's not horrible but it's not great. <laughs>
freeze. Ah, ah you're oh. good now. <laughs> I freeze. I freeze. Oh. Why? Can I see Paige? Right, you gonna trick or treat today? Yeah. Good morning. We actually had a really good night last night. Oakley slept the first stretch for four hours. That has not been the usual. Usually it's been like two and a half, maybe three, but oh, it was really nice. I got a little bit of a longer stretch of sleep. I just finished pumping some milk. I'm gonna put this aside so Matt can bake it up. Usually I wanna talk a little bit about how like Matt and I um, divide and conquer with kids. With the whole breastfeeding situation, um, Matt is usually the one that like sanitizes everything, gets it all ready. I obviously pump and breastfeed and then he will transfer the milk into the freezer bags and stuff um, and that's just how we split it up because I think a lot of times like the breastfeeding the cleaning all that stuff is just thrown on to mom and feeding your baby is a really large part of taking care of them so I think it's really nice like if you can split it up so it's just not on one person because like if I had to wash everything freeze everything, get it all set up. It's just like way more exhausting and breastfeeding itself, um, feeding your baby in any way is exhausting and takes up a lot of time. So I think it's good to like split that up if possible. When it comes to our morning routine, Matt is on sage duty. Um, in the future, we'll probably like alternate, but I'm obviously still healing from postpartum. Um, so I'm just trying to get extra rest when I can and not walk around and do the stairs too much. Um, so he'll like wake her up, get her dressed, feed her breakfast, and then take her to daycare uh, while I kind of hang out with Oakley, which he's the easy one right now. <laughs> um, so he's napping, so I'm actually gonna go and take a shower and just get myself ready. I might take a nap, I don't know, but I feel like I had a little bit extra sleep last night, so I'm not feeling too bad. I had to rush the end of my shower because Oakley had woken up, so we're just doing a little skin to skin before I finish my skincare and get dressed. So it's 10.30, I haven't eaten breakfast yet. This Oakley fell asleep on me, he's on mat right now, but he's getting hungry, so I'm gonna quickly make myself some food, hopefully before he loses it. is my breakfast. I was craving like sweet and savory. Oh, you have some bites? Go feed Oakley. My ribs are still hurting me so much. So annoying. If you've ever dealt with rib pain, it's the worst. It's honestly been the hardest part of my recovery. He's so cute. Okay, while Oakley is napping, I want to show you my postpartum cart. I did not do this with my first um, pregnancy and postpartum experience. After that experience, I was like, yes, everyone's prepping like the baby's room. Oh, oh, you guys are balancing on a book and it's not very safe. You know, we're always thinking about like the baby, the nursery, uh, prepping everything for when baby comes, but like you need to take care of yourself after birth. And that is why I decided to create a little postpartum caddy for me to have like all my essentials ready to go for taking care of myself, recovering, and healing my body. So I wanted to go over what I have in here um, because there's a lot of repeats from my first postpartum experience and some new items too that I'm excited to try out. This is actually Sage's diaper caddy that we used to have in her room, but she is basically out of diapers now. So I'm borrowing it for mommy's diapers. That's weird. <laughs> this is usually right beside my bed, um, but I just brought it into the light so you can see. Up top I have some, these are like maxi pads, guys. I'm gonna have a blog post with like everything linked for you guys. These are the Freedom Mom briefs. I'm actually wearing them right now and they are the best. You need to get these and they're so comfy. They're kind of like a boxer brief, but they're disposable. So super breathable, comfortable, cannot recommend them enough. This is a photo postpartum with Sage and it's the exact underwear that I'm wearing there. Okay, then I just got some baby wipes. These can be used for me or baby or whatever I need them for. In here, I got like all my sprays and stuff. Um, this is a new product, Perineal Healing Foam. I like it. it. It sometimes stings a bit. I think there might be alcohol in it, but it's like a cooling healing foam. 
Arnica gel. I've been mostly using this for my ribs because I bruised them during the end of my pregnancy. Um, I also have Arnica tablets that I've been taking internally for postpartum. The Earth Mama Perineal Spray, super cooling, does not sting. Another spray that I'm using this time around again is this Clariderm one from Young Living. It's a bunch of essential oils. It is really healing and cooling and I really it's just like more of an oil spray. Really like it. So I'll alternate between that one and the Earth Mama one. I also have some magnesium sprays. Uh, this is left over from pregnancy because I had the worst restless legs ever. Um, but also magnesium is really good for you for like relaxing and stuff. So I'm still just finishing it up. But my basically after I gave birth, my restless legs are like gone. That's a great magnesium spray, a little TMI, but uh, some, this is like a more natural hemorrhoid cream. If you know, you know, you're not just pushing on a baby. I have some hand sanitizer spray just in case. Sometimes you're changing poopy diapers and then you have to go straight to like feeding baby and you just don't have time to wash your hands just yet. So that's handy. Uh, lip balm, nipple butter. I like this one also from Earth Mama. Oh, that breastfeeding back pain. Okay. Uh, another magnesium product that I like. This one here, it has like shea butter in it, I believe. I love this one. This is what I would slather my legs in during pregnancy every single night, and it saved me from restless legs. I also have a breast pump here. Uh, this is a new one I've been trying and really liking it. It's a portable one, but I usually have a couple different ones because one might be in the wash or you might be on the go or one breaks. It's always good to have like more than one breast pump. So I have those here, my water bottle. Let's go down to the next layer. What is this, a cake? Okay, so down here I have some adult diapers. These are necessary. Definitely get them because during the first couple days you are bleeding a lot, everything's coming up. Also sometimes urine, so you definitely want some diapers. These are some ice maxi pads, so they're cooling and absorbent. It's like a two in one. Down here we have more pads. So I like to have different levels of absorption for pads because you're gonna want different stuff for different times of like your postpartum journey. I like this brand. They're all natural, organic. I got different kinds. I will link them in the blog post. Oh, they also have a maternity one that I don't have in here, but that's in the bathroom. For nipple care, I have these silver cups. I didn't have these for after Sage, so I've been trying them out. Um, and they're nice because they're reusable and they're just cooling. So I've been using those. This is a new product. Uh, one of my friends at the gym actually recommended these. So I have yet to try them out. They're kind of like a cooling under eye patch, but for your nips. So I'm going to try those. I haven't actually used these yet, but they're perineal cooling pad liners. Some people also use tucks. Um, I just try to do like more of the natural route, uh, but there is that or like a dermaplast spray for like pain relief. Down here, we got the Perry bottle. Um, I have one in each bathroom. Uh, this is great to help cleanse after you go to the bathroom. I have this muscle melt lotion from Sage Wellness. So amazing for sore muscles and stuff, especially if you're breastfeeding. It's great on the neck and shoulders and upper back. Um, so I usually apply this at night. I have my postpartum underwear. This is like actual real cotton underwear. And I use this after Sage. I really like them. They're like high-waisted, black, so they're not gonna stain. And I haven't used these yet. I'm still in the diaper and the disposable underwear phase. Um, but then this is just Epsom salts for like sits baths or just relaxing um, at the end of the night. And yeah, that's everything that is in my cart. I have this right beside my bed at night and it's so handy to have everything here at my fingertips. Guys, that was a workout. <laughs> I'm still early in my postpartum journey. We've officially been home for just over a week. So I just want to share like some tips and stuff, what's going on. It's like night and day from how I felt like on day one being home to now. So if you feel like I have like more energy and I'm walking around, like that's just because I've been resting a lot and not leaving the house. I've been <laughs> joking that I'm on house arrest. Even if you feel like you are doing so much better, just remember that you have a very large wound inside your body and your uterus from like the placenta detaching. So just because you can't see it, it doesn't mean it's not there. And that's something that I'm constantly reminding myself of and just really taking it easy. I have not left the house yet for like a walk or anything. Although my midwife said the other day, like I can start going for short walks. And then if I start experiencing like more pain or extra bleeding to then take it back a notch and just do some more resting. So everyone is so different when it comes to their postpartum healing journey. So don't compare yours to somebody else's. I've also been doing um, my pelvic floor breathing exercises that my pelvic floor therapist told me um, I can do after birth. I think it's called 360 breathing, but that's just been really good to start connecting my body with my muscles and just st starting to lightly strengthen 
that pelvic floor again because a baby just broke through it. <laughs> I'm going to give more details in the blog post as well for like how I kind of use these products and take care of my lady bits and my body during my postpartum recovery because I think it can be a little overwhelming like when do you use what with what and how long do you use things for? Everybody's different but I can just kind of explain my personal experience and what has worked for me for both births and I really love all these products. Some of them, like I said, are new, um, but there's definitely some staples in there that have been really great to have, and I just want to recommend them to you guys if you're looking for building your own postpartum cart. All right, I think that's gonna be it for this vlog. Thank you so much for watching. It really helps out if you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave me a comment down below letting me know what other baby and postpartum content you guys want to see on my channel um or just like lifestyle content do you guys want me to do like another what i eat in a day video or something let me know down below uh don't forget to subscribe on your way out and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys there is a life i lead in.